For more information on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com, youtube.com forward slash channelsweb has videos of our shows. The trial of suspected fraud star Ismaila Mustafa allies Momfa before the Federal High Court in Lagos comments today with three witnesses testifying against him. Momfa is facing 14 counts bordering on fraud, money laundering and running a foreign exchange business without the authori authorization of the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN. He was first arraigned on Monday alongside the firm Ismalab Global Investment Limited. The EFCC is accusing Monfa of procuring Ismalab Global Investments Limited and retaining in its bank account an, av an aggregated sum of 32.9 billion naira between 2015 and 2018. Trial Judge Justice Mohammed Liman admitted Monfa, uh, admitted Monfa to bail in the sum of 100 million naira uh, with one surety who must be a landed property owner and adjourned further proceedings till January 8, 2020. In the meantime, a prosecution witness in the ongoing trial of the former chairman of the defunct Pension Reforms Task Team, Mr. Abdurashid Maina, has disclosed that he used his sister's name to open a secret bank account with the United Bank for Africa, UBA, through which funds were allegedly transferred. According to the witness, Mr. Maynard passed off the account as belonging to his sister while he actually operated it. On the cross-examination by defence counsel, Esther Ozoma, the witness denied harbouring any ulterior motive in her testimonies by not revealing to the UBA authorities Mr. Maynard's huge monetary transactions. Justice Abank adjourned the case until December the 9th, 10th and 11th for continuation of trial. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, is prosecuting Mr. Mena on a 12 counts charge bordering on operating fictitious bank accounts, corruption, fraud, money laundering to the tune of over 2 billion naira. You're watching the news at 10 on Channels Television, reaching you live from Lagos. Let's quickly switch to our Buja studios now where uh, Mark Bear Ogun Yusuf is standing by to take us through a couple of more stories. Mark Bear, always good to see you. And thank God it's Friday. It's good to see you, Gimba. Now, the appeal court sitting in Joss, the Plateau State Capital, has upheld the election of Simon Lalong of Plateau State and his Vulture State counterpart, Bala Mohammed, as duly elected governors. In the lead judgment delivered by Justice Adumain Otisi, the court dismissed the appeal by both appellants and all issues raised were resolved in favor of both governors. At the appellate court sitting in Jos, the Plateau State Capital, Justice Adomain Otisi dismissed the appeal filed by the People's Democratic Party and its governorship candidate, Jeremiah Useni, for lack of merit, aligning with the judgment of the Election Petition Tribunal, which affirmed the victory of Governor Simon Lalong. <laughs> Justice Otisi awarded the sum of 200,000 naira as cost in favor of Governor Lalong and the APC. Reacting to the court judgment, Governor Lalong says he is now more determined to deliver on the mandate of the people. For me, I said my focus is plan to stay. This victory, they are very happy about it. They have prayed about it and the victory is very sweet. You know, when you get things uh, this way and people are very happy. I'm serving people and each time I look at them and I pity them if there's any change in plan to stay. With what we have gone through so far, restoring peace, to the people of Plateau said, bringing development to the people of Plateau said, and all of the night to say that something can change it. It will be very, very unfortunate. But I thank God for the judgment and, uh, and also the confidence we have in the judiciary. At the same court, Justice Otisi also delivered judgment in the case against Governor Bala Mohammed of Bochi State. Justice Otisi and the other four justices concurred that there was no merit in the appeal filed by the candidate of the All Progressives Congress and former Governor Mohamed Abubakar. The sum of 200,000 naira was also awarded as cost in favor of Governor Mohamed and the People's Democratic Party.
The jubilant crowd couldn't contain their excitement as they jumped for joy at the pronouncement of the court. Also reacting to his victory, Governor Bala Mohammed says he will forfeit the fine awarded by the court against the appellants and he also called on them to join hands with him in providing good governance for the people of the state. I wish to extend my hands of fellowship to my opponent and his supporters to join us in the honorable quest to rebuild both state. I have noticed the fine of 500,000 naira only awarded by the court in our favor my humble self and the PDP. My humble self and our great party, the PDP, have in the spirit of reconciliation and Koshmore, hereby forfeit the fine. <laughs> it is my hope that our opponents will reciprocate this good gesture. It is clear to all that even under the challenging situation in and out of courts, we have laid a good foundation a roadmap, a roadmap to restore our state to the path of her, to restore her past glory. The appellants had challenged the emergence of the candidate as winners of the March the 9th governorship election. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has frowned on how politicians willfully bypass the process of verifying voters through the smart card reader. INEC has warned that any political party, candidate, poll agent or electorate who resists the use of smart card reader or obstructs its deployment is indirectly truncating the electoral process and such will attract zero votes for the affected polling unit. In an interview with Channel's Television, INEC's Director of Voter Education and Publicity, Mr. Festo Sokoye, insists that the Commission will go ahead with tomorrow's Kogi West Senatorial Supplementary Election despite the petition from Senator Dino Melae seeking its cancellation. The card reader is innovative, the smart card reader is creative, and the smart card reader is novel, and was designed purposely and fundamentally to bolster the credibility and transparency of the accreditation process. In areas where we have had uh, a smart card reader malfunction, we have trained um, um, our registration area engineers and technicians uh, to take care of uh, smart card reader malfunction. And we also have redundancies that we deploy. We also received a few reports of attempts to bypass the use of the smart card reader. And all the presiding officers had very clear instructions that if they are over voting in any pulling unit, that the result of that particular pulling unit should be canceled. And that if any community resists the use of the smart card reader or any political force resists the use of the smart card reader, that zero vote should be entered for that particular pulling unit. The supplementary elections in Kogi West Senatorial District will go ahead tomorrow. Uh, this is because it was the um, um, coalition stroke returning officer for that particular senatorial district that declared the election as inconclusive. And we have a constitutional and legal obligation to go back and conclude that election. And we are going to conclude it uh, tomorrow. Now, on a bit more on politics, the South-South Caucus of the All Progressives Congress has passed a vote of confidence on the national chairman of the party, Comrade Adam Zoshomale. The caucus also adopted the Deputy Senate President, Ovi Omagege, as a leader of the party in the region. Within the outcome of their meeting, the convener and vice national chairman of the party, South-South, Mr. Hilad Etta, says the purpose is to appraise the APC's performance in the last general elections. The meeting, which held at the private office of the national chairman, discussed, among other issues, the crisis in the Edo State APC and the controversy trailing the constitution of the Niger Delta Development Commission Board of Management. The Zonal Working Committee shall set up reconciliation committees to complement the work of the National Reconciliation Committee in River State, Edo State, and Cross River State. Distinguished Senator 
au vieux en moi gégé has been unanimously chosen as a political leader of the south south zone that the leadership of the caucus of the south south zone do unequivocally pass a vote of implicit confidence on the national chairman of the all progressives congress comrade adams aliyu ushumole <laughs> 